All right, we are here at a booth called Elite Core, and this is uh, kind of the first time we're seeing this product. And I'm here with Chris Ward of Elite Core, and he's going to share with us a little bit about their new PM16 personal mixer. Yeah, th thanks a lot. Yes, the Elite Core PM16 personal mixer is a, is a new entry into the personal mixing market, but we've addressed some problems that have been uh, kind of far reaching in the personal mixing system. Immediately when you look at the mixer, you see 16 volume knobs, 16 pan knobs, and 16 signal present lights. So you can tell right off what sounds are active, uh, what instruments are playing where. You know, as we're as we're looking at this song here, now the song's about to about to reboot. As it restarts, you'll see bass uh, and drums and percussion. Those things will start off, uh, and it'll just give you an immediate indication of what's going on here. Uh, and so a couple of features that you notice, a solid steel construction uh, cabinet made in the USA in a factory down in the south in McKinney, Texas. We've got an ambient microphone built on board. You'll notice right here on the face of the mixer is an ambient microphone. You can turn that ambient mic up and it feeds the sound that's around this mixer right into the headphone amplifier here. Also a compressor that's local to this mixer and a graphic EQ that's local to this mixer. So you've got a lot of features that make it easy to establish a mix, uh, easy to get the sound that you're looking for, and an absolutely screaming loud headphone amplifier. Uh, the Elite Core PM16 really will fit well into a lot of uh, church systems, band systems, and recording studios. And I listened to this uh, earlier yesterday when we were here just kind of checking it out, and it really does sound good. It is a loud headphone amp, and when you turn it up, it continues to sound really good. So what is your transport protocol? How do, we, how do we get signals into this system, and how do we distribute them amongst the stage? Sure, it's very simple. There's a couple of ways. Uh, we begin with an input module. There are 16 TRS inputs on the on the input module you've got inputs and throughs so you can uh, uh, use insert points direct outs auxiliary sends or if you have a digital console a variety of different options there to get those analog signals out uh, into our input module from there you simply go to a distribution module that sends audio as well as power out to each of the mixers. Uh, the, the mixers are connected with an EtherCon connection, so it's a very strong, robust connection uh, there. Uh, also, uh, TRS balanced line outputs for driving uh, powered wedges or other devices like maybe a personal uh, a wireless mixing, uh, a wireless device. And I see you have an out connector on the network as well, so you can daisy chain these units also? You sure can. You daisy chain, no problem at all. Each one down the line would need to have power applied to it, uh, but it daisy chains, yes. Yeah. Perfect. So you're really, because you're giving power over the Ethernet, you've only got one connection running to the unit, so neater stage, you don't need the wall wart power or anything like that. And um, yeah, so now price point on these things, uh, where, where are we looking at price-wise? Looking really nice. The input module is, of course, required. That's 629 street price. The distribution module that will power up to eight of the uh, individual mixers is only 329 street price and then each individual mixer at 429. Wow, that's fantastic. So, you know, if you're looking for a solution um, for personal mixing for your church where you don't need the maybe the, the complexity of the M48s, which we all know and love, but you don't need that complexity and cost, this could be a really, really good solution. So I recommend you check them out. What's the website, Chris? EliteCoreAudio.com. All right, EliteCoreAudio.com. Check them out.